how did the prosecution against the movement um, begin? You know, what, what triggered it? Like, was Mueller there at the beginning? Or did he come in later? Or It, it began with LaRouche's connection to Reagan. Um, during the 1980 campaign, LaRouche got to know Reagan in the primary up in New Hampshire. You've probably heard the name Roger Stone, this guy who is now being persecuted by, by Miller. Roger Stone got to know LaRouche during that 1980 campaign and became convinced over the years that LaRouche was the greatest genius of the, of the era uh, and, and took, helped take his ideas to Reagan and then later to Nixon and then also to Trump. Uh, took LaRouche's ideas. And he spoke at a number of our conferences. That's why Miller's going after him now. But in that 1980 campaign, he got to know LaRouche. He got to know Reagan, I mean. And he conveyed to him his idea that we had to end the British, the fundamental British division of the world, which was the East versus the West, mm -hmm. uh, and that the so-called MAD policy, Mutual Assured Destruction, which was supposedly... Uh, guaranteeing peace in the world by having America and Russia agree that we should keep a certain amount of, of nuclear weapons capable of blowing each other up and that this will stop us from going to war because we know we could blow each other up. Well, this was, okay, fine and good. You're not going to have a global nuclear war, maybe. Uh, but the point was that kept the world divided. This was a fundamental division of the world, which also allowed surrogate wars in the, in, the, in the developing sector, colonial surrogate wars in Vietnam, for instance. The fact that they succeeded in throwing LaRouche in prison in, in, in 1989 is not just a, a misjudges, misjustice to us. Um, you probably know that Ramsey Clark, the former attorney general, said this is the worst case of government misconduct in the history of this nation. Now, but, but let, let me ask you. So because the, the idea behind LaRouche's proposal for what became known as the SCI, Strategic Defense Initiative, was that the US and Russia's scientific and, and military communities worked together to develop a space-based defense against missiles that could stop a rogue nation or even stop each other if something accidental kicked off. But by and large, it would bring our countries together around pursuing the frontiers of human knowledge, scientific knowledge, beam technology, laser technology, and new technologies we didn't even know uh, in, in, a, in a way to circumvent the entire British Empire. And when LaRouche convinced Reagan to adopt that policy, which he did on March, March 31st of 1983, if I have the date right, when he announced that policy, that was the spark. Kissinger and the British crowd said, LaRouche has got to go. And they began slandering LaRouche. They began writing articles about how horrible it was that Reagan was listening to this madman, this racist, anti-Semite, blah, blah, blah. You know, all this stuff got started precisely because LaRouche was getting to leaders who had a moral compass. And Reagan did. Reagan wasn't the most brilliant guy, but he had a moral compass. And he wanted to bring the U.S. and Russia together, which is why they all tried to kill him and why they went after LaRouche, which is the same reason they're going after Trump today, to prevent now, the circumvention. Was Mueller um, close to Kissinger or, or something? I mean, was, like, what, what is his importance he was, or role? He was the U.S. attorney in Boston, and he was a, a trusted agent of the corrupt FBI DOJ. This was J. Edgar Hoover time, you know. Okay, the, okay. You still have the same horrible corruption within the FBI and the DOJ, coming from the British, direct ties into MI6. This so is Mueller, Mueller actually worked with J. Edgar Hoover in the FBI? Well, he, was, he, was head of, he was at the time a U.S. attorney right. for the DOJ, later okay. became head of the FBI, you know, yep. took uh, J. Edgar Hoover's spot. And as, as you probably know, in that document we put out about who Robert Mueller is, he ran the Get LaRouche Task Force. He was made head of the FBI just before 9-11. Was it called the Get LaRouche Task Force? Yeah. yeah. That was the name. Okay. Oh, yeah. When we were raided on October uh, 6, 1986, by 400 armed men from all the different agencies, it was DEA, FBI, D CIA, they were all there with armored personnel carriers, helicopters, all armed to the teeth as if we were a terrorist group or something. You know, just like what happened to Roger Stone. You know, yeah. On a smaller scale. 
What, what, what was the justification for, for mobilizing? What, what, what did they say to the press? I, I mean, what, 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 what were they saying? Yeah, you guys were hiding arms and, and... If you read the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal and the, and the Washington Post today with their obituaries, they say LaRouche lives in a heavily armed camp and runs a, a dangerous cult, which is connected to, you know, it depends on who they're talking to. He's either a fascist or a communist, you know, one of right. the two, or something, or a racist or an anti-Semite, all of which- just yeah, Kind of like with the Branch Davidians, I guess, when they, when they just- tried, tried to justify that kind of an attack, exactly. Yeah. What happened that morning, I was arrested that morning. They, they had swarmed around my house with their Uzis and, you know, and so forth. I won't go into the details. But they also completely encircled the compound where Lynn lived and had the helicopters and the army personnel carriers and intended to raid and start a shootout and kill him. And LaRouche wrote to Reagan and said, I am about to be killed by a illegal criminal raid. And if I am killed, this, the, my blood is going to be in your hands, Mr. President. Stop it. And within hours, the whole thing pulled back. And his lawyer was called and asked to turn himself in, which he did. So this was an assassination attempt, uh, just like you say, a, a Branch Davidian type uh, scenario, which uh, LaRouche was able to, to circumvent because he was able to get to Reagan. 